Hello everyone and welcome back to Camera Jin. This is season 3 so I'm really excited. Um, in the next few episodes I'll be making some small changes to um, my programming so I hope you check that out. I'm going to make a quick review today about film cases. Um, I actually have two right now. Um, I have the gray one made by Fujifilm and I have the white one um, that you can actually order from Bellamy of JapanCameraHunter.com um, I actually got these I think sometime in the last year um, I got it for seven dollars at Japan Exposures I got two um, I can't I didn't do um, some sort of a panic buying because I thought that time I mean if I like it then I like it and if it's gone well it's gone I actually got two I gave one to my boyfriend for him to use um, and it actually looks like this so it snaps and it's rectangular you can actually see I hope it focuses um, the Fuji logo underneath and it's just like clean at the bottom and the design is like marble-ish um, so you get um, gray and a white like gray and like the white marble thing and then you open that up and then you can see you can put your film in there so it can fit 10 35 millimeter film um, when I first got this case um, I actually put um, my black and whites in here because I actually don't have a lot um, in as much as I develop a lot of black and whites um, films at home I actually have more colored negatives because um, friends from Manila actually sent me some or I, I actually asked them to buy some for me and it's not really economical to get black and white in Asia um, because the price when you buy here in North America it's just the same anyway um, I digress um, the plastic is kind of thin to the feel and I don't know if you could see it but if you actually put this against the light you can actually see through the tin material so I'm not sure how durable this is um, when they actually I don't really bring this a lot when I shoot I mean I do when I need a lot of black and whites or if I'm going to do like a like a planned uh, photo shoot in black and white but for the most part I hardly bring this or when I travel um, but I hardly bring this but I mean so far it's been okay I have this longer than the other case so um, it's not too bad it actually protects my um, my films um, when I need to fly I actually use um, a lead um, black bag and then it will put everything in a ziplock and then put it in a lead black bag and then put it um, some of them in my suitcase and some of them in my hand carry but anyway um, so that's that um, now this Christmas I actually got um, the Japan camera hunter film case because the Fuji one is actually discontinued as well as the 121 um, so um, when I because I follow Japan camera hunter on his Twitter and I follow his blog so uh, when I heard that there's a launch I'm like oh I'm gonna buy it as soon as possible so um, I ended up getting three because um, they gave the other two as gifts this Christmas uh, one thing I've noticed is that um, the plastic feels a lot sturdier than the Fuji one and even though it's white uh, when I put it um, against the light I mean obviously you can't see it right now but when I and I have light I have my bedroom light at the back of the camera but when I put these against the light I can hardly see like because with this one I can see that like shadow of my fingers but here I, I can't see that I mean I could see it but it's hardly you can't really see it that much it's actually more opaque and that um, that kind of shows um, the thickness of the material used in this case um, I can't say whether this is more durable than the Fuji one but I would assume that it is um, 
as far as size is concerned, it's almost about the same except the length is like the new um, case is actually a bit longer. So I'm just gonna show it like that. So it's not it's not a considerable considerable length. So it's not too bad. Um, and again, you can also fit um, ten. Um, 35 millimeter films in there. This one actually contains my colored films, so now you can see that and slide films as well. Um, compared to the Fuji one, um, the logo, like the Japan Camera Hunter logo, is actually at the bottom, and the Made in Japan is at the bottom as well. And um, both of my film cases have the buy film not megapixel stickers because I thought it was kind of cute um, both ca um, cases you can actually customize them whatever you want to put on top of them um, aside from the buy film stickers I also have the Im impossible film stickers because I got that when I went to New York um, is so I guess the next question would be is one better than the other um, I can't say at the moment um, just because I haven't used this um, on a field like shooting outside and then carrying my case because once I got these it was um, late November and at this time of the year I don't really go out and shoot because it's too cold and it gets really busy um, but I kept these in my mom's fridge because uh, my film fridge can't fit any more films um, but both films act uh, bo both film cases I think they do the job for me at the moment um, although I think with this one it might it, it like what I said because of the how it was construct constructed and the materials it might be a bit more durable but again I can't pass on that judgment that yet until I actually use this like say when I go out and travel or whatever so anyway um so yeah like if you happen to be interested in like um finding places for your films whether you shoot a lot or whether you just need a small container to store them in your fridge um I suggest to get one of these film cases um at the moment I don't use these for um, shooting outside I brought this when I traveled once to Toronto um, but they're actually good to like separate the films that I want to use right away because my film fridge is actually down in my house whereas I can put these in the kitchen fridge so it's it's just more easier to access my film so but it's up to you how you want to use them and how frequently you want to use them um, I will link below the website where I got the white case um, if you haven't visited um, Japan Camera Hunter I suggest that you do so just because they um, he has a lot of these um, informative articles about like photo books um, photo walks like in your bags um, and some other reviews and events that's going on in regards to photography so um, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys soon bye bye